Well, today we are at one of the most haunted locations on the planet. And a bucket list item. A huge bucket list item. We've been talking about this for even... When we were in our house. Yeah, a couple years before yeah. we left the house. There's only like a handful of reasons why I'd ever wanted to come to uh, California. And this is one. And, and this is one of the handful. Yeah, for sure. Um, they won't let us film in there. No. Pictures only. But this place has an amazing, crazy story yes. that we're going to tell you all about as we go through. If you don't already know. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be stills, but it'll still be really cool. Um, it's just a crazy story. If you haven't seen the movie, there's a movie about it too. The movie's it's just, wonderful. It's just called Winchester, and it's on Netflix. And um, if you haven't seen that movie, go see that movie. This video will make a lot more sense, sense. Yeah. after you see the <laughs> thing. But we are going to give you a ton of information as we go through there because there's so much to see and hear about and learn about. The whole family is just very interesting. Just, it is. She's a very cool woman. Yeah. So, um, hope you enjoy it. It's a good time to go, too. It's a couple days before Halloween. Yeah. So kind of just get you in the mood for Halloween. Exactly. They do night tours here also. We're yeah. not going to go on the night tours, but the nights were supposed to be really cool. Yeah, it was It was like a, a lot more. It was more expensive and they won't even let you take pictures on the night, night tour. tour. Yeah. So we had to come during the day so that we could share it with you. Yes. Sarah Winchester was the wife of gunmaker William Winchester, whose family created the Winchester rifle that was heralded as the gun that won the West. On March 7, 1881, William died of tuberculosis. Sarah inherited $20 million, equivalent to $536 million today, as well as 50% holding in the Winchester Repeating Arms Company which wielded $1,000 per day, equivalent to $27,000 today, which made her one of the wealthiest women in the world at the time. Overcome with grief in the wake of her husband's death, Sarah sought out a spiritualist looking for solace or closure. She was instead given a chilling warning. The medium told Sarah that their tragedies, including the death of their daughter named Annie, who died at six weeks old, were a result of blood money the family had made off the Winchester rifles. The medium warned that vengeful ghosts would seek Sarah out. In order to protect herself, she must build a home for the spirits who have fallen from this terrible weapon. There was just one catch. Construction on the house could never stop. If you continue building, you will live. Stop, and you will die. In 1886, Sarah purchased an eight-room farmhouse in San Jose, California, and began building. Construction went on day and night, seven days a week, 52 weeks a year, for 38 straight years. Sarah issued many bizarre demands to her builders, including the building of trap doors, secret passages, a skylight in the floor, spiderweb windows, and staircases that led to nowhere. There are also doors that open to blank walls, and a dangerous door on the second floor that opens out into nothing. Each night, Sarah visited the seance room to speak with the spirits, who weighed in on the plans for the house's unusual design. At the chime of midnight, they clamor. The bells summon them. They communicate through plans drawings. They want me to reconstruct the rooms that they died in. Then they can enter our world. The trouble is I don't always know who it is I'm speaking with. It, it could be some innocent bystander or, or a victim of a crime or someone else. The home boasts 160 rooms, 950 doors, 10,000 windows, 40 stairways, 52 skylights, 47 fireplaces, six kitchens, plus a trio of elevators. She had zigzagging small riser stairways installed so she could more easily climb them as she aged and suffered from arthritis. Henry. 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 
In 1906, the great San Francisco earthquake hit. Sarah was sleeping in this room at the time of the earthquake. A wall shifted and jammed the door shut, trapping Sarah inside. Prior to the earthquake, the mansion stood seven stories tall and included a tower. The top three floors and the tower were destroyed in the earthquake and were never rebuilt. The work on the house only stopped on September 5th, 1922 because Sarah died of heart failure in her sleep. This is the room she died in. Upon hearing the news of Sarah's death, the carpenters quit so abruptly, they left half-hammered nails protruding from the walls. All the areas painted in black were actively under construction at the time of her death. Most of the furniture and furnishings were auctioned off. It took eight truckloads every day for six weeks to remove it all. Among the secrets Sarah took to her grave was why she insisted that so many things relate to the number 13. The Winchester house has many 13 paned windows and 13 paneled ceilings, as well as 13 step stairways. The house's 13th bathroom contains 13 windows. Even her will had 13 parts and she signed it 13 times. There is only one known photo of Sarah. In the photo, she is seated in a carriage, so you cannot see that she stood a mere four feet, 10 inches tall. Sarah is buried in New Haven, Connecticut with her husband, William, and their daughter, Annie. That was awesome. Very cool. Very interesting Man, place. So interesting. We hope that you enjoyed it. We hope you enjoyed the facts that we shared. Um, so it was a little bit of a mix of pictures and video because we were able to video outside, outside only. pictures inside, and you might have noticed there are no ads on this video. <laughs> and that's because even with still pictures, uh, you're not allowed to use any of it Commercial. commercially. So we can't make, we're not allowed to make any money off it, which we're cool with. Yeah. We just wanted to share this awesome experience yeah, with you. Um, there's way more to see than what we could show you. So yeah. if you're in the area, we definitely recommend coming here. Yeah, um, it's spendy. It is spendy, but it, it you got to do. It's one of those things you got to do. I would love to do the explore more add-on tour. Yeah, they just started that recently. Yeah, I really would like to go because they take you into the basement and everything. I think you'll see a lot more cooler stuff. But it's like a twenty-three dollar per person add-on, and yeah. I just wasn't sure that it really would be worth it. After already forty dollars a person. Then you start adding on $23 and taxes and fees and everything that California adds on. And you're looking at about a hundred bucks a person if you want to do the regular tour and the Explore More tour. If you yeah. want to do the night tour, it's even more expensive. Yeah, night tour is ridiculous. But um, man, very cool, uh, worth coming to see in person. And, it, and it's still creepy even in the daytime. It is. It's creepy and then those narrow hallways <laughs> and the um, easy, risers, easy risers. stairs. Like even with me, like I can this wear, tall. I can wear a six and a half shoe, and I could not put my whole foot on some of those steps. Yeah, I had to like go sideways a little just so well, I had security. Well, she was only four ten. Yeah. So she probably had teeny tiny feet too. So. Yeah, and it's just amazing. And like one guy on our tour, he was a, a big guy. He struggled just going Getting through, through some of the passageways ways because yeah. they were for shorter people and for narrow people. But yeah. it's just so crazy. Sometimes no rhyme or reason. Doors that yeah. open to walls doors that just fall out to the outside you yeah. know windows that are they're just oh, nowhere like in the kitchen the, the little some cupboard. cupboards and it was like this deep it's half inch it, deep it, what's its purpose there's I don't, no I reason to just know what was on her mind lots of 13s in there yes lots of tiles window work Word. um all kinds of different stuff with 13 floor yes. tiling with 13 13 a lot of places yes but very cool very interesting um i hope you enjoyed it yeah. um so yeah, we're out of here from the Winchester house. In San Jose, California. Yeah, and it's a beautiful day it, for it too. It was a great day to come. So very nice. Um, uh, stick around for a couple of seconds. We're gonna honor Fallen Hero. And if you wanna get involved with helping us help vets out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. It's awesome. Happy Halloween. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>